முருகவர் ஜானிக்கராமன் ஃபவுண்டர் அண்ட் சிஇஓ ஆஃப் மேட்ரிமோனி டாட் காம் இந்தியா ஸ்டார்ட் இஸ் மேட்ரிமோனி கம்பெனி இந்த லாஸ்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ இயர்ஸ் ஹெல்ப் மில்லியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவர் லைஃப் பார்ட்னர் ஹவு டூ ஃபீல் அபவுட் ஐ கான் திஸ் இயர் வெரி குட் ஆர்கனைஸ் வெரி வெல் அண்ட் லைக் தி செஷன் ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் அண்ட் வெரி வாஸ் இவன் ஆங்கர் அண்ட் குயிட் என்ஜாய் இட் அண்ட் கிளாட் அட் எவ்ரி இயர் செட்டிங் பிகர் அட் தட் கிரேட் அ மூமெண்ட் இன் யுவர் லைஃப் தட் டிஃபைன்ஸ் ரெசிலியன்ஸ் uh uh during 2008 uh, so when you were running multiple ventures and we left with limited cash uh, mm-hmm. based on the advice of the board that that he had asked us to cut down the expenses and uh, become profitable so mm-hmm. i had to let go of multiple businesses mm-hmm. that was the most challenging period in that time i would tell myself as, uh, as an entrepreneur focusing on some aspect of the business mm-hmm. and that was the time when through each and every aspects of business an entrepreneur became a ceo understood the response of ceo that i need to manage all aspects of business mm-hmm. we let go various businesses cut down the expenses within 6 months we not really become profitable that's one of the years that we grew very well also wow. but that year we launched various initiatives a moment in your life that defines success when i got married uh, <laughs> to balmatrimony.com <laughs> oh, okay the launch initial success mm-hmm. and uh, i think the taking company uh, public was oh that was amazing the uh, second big success So, tell, can you elaborate a little bit about the moment where your company went public? What was the emotions running in your mind, and when it launched, oh, how did you feel at that point? I, I can say that was the phase two of entrepreneur journey. The first phase one was getting the business model successful, getting the value propositions right, and getting the customer acceptance, and getting the funding. Mm. The second phase was, you know, can you actually exit to the investors and also make their business to a certain scale and size, mm. and able to take the company public. In the phase three is the post uh, listing journey. and that is a can create a company where it can reach the uh, different scale and size and uh, and create a large enterprise and the phase 4 i consider as well creating a long lasting in enterprise and creating a company which can be there for decades to come or generation to come so i think you are in the phase 3 so which part about your daily routine uh, excites you the most or which makes you really happy uh when i go for a morning walk or listen to uh, the audio books i think that's that's a something really like what advice would you give youngsters in regards to managing time and having a work life balance uh one thing i learned about uh, managing time is that the book called uh, uh, indestructible but what is the essence of time management is that allocate time for the things which are matters to you the most time management is that hey, what are the things that are more the no important thing mm-hmm. allocate time for those important things mm-hmm. in your calendar this stuff is gets managed that's uh, the best time management lesson i got it i think the book is indestructible and uh, what advice would you give youngsters when it comes to decision making see initial days you know you may want to try out different uh, things is fine because you want to find out which is going to work with all the thing mm. but once you identify something going to give the success or able to see the early success you need to focus on your energy your full time after the one idea Mm-hmm. because at the early stage you can't be focused on too many things but till you identify the success you may want to identify you know focus on okay what's going to work out you want to you are dabbling with multiple things mm-hmm. but once you you would identify this is what i want to you know mm-hmm. work on this is what going to be giving me the, the success where i see the early traction give an example when i started uh, my community website mm-hmm. i was providing various community services as part of my tamil community website mm-hmm. when i saw the matrimony is an opportunity that should they just focus full fully on matrimony okay. that gives all the success so we can't be running a multiple thing the early stage okay. once the company reaches a certain scale and size mm-hmm. then you may the management band we can you may the capital other thing where you can you able to run multiple ventures but the early stage don't focus on too many thing but again as i said once you identify an opportunity just focus on that opportunity what advice do you give young entrepreneurs who are venturing to business right now so today the capital is definitely it's available okay mm-hmm. and india is on the cusp of phenomenal i think mm-hmm. next 20 years we are going to put our country economy is around 3 trillion okay. by 2040 we are expecting going to get 30 trillion mm-hmm. imagine the next 18 years is going to be six times the world's current economy india is one of the fastest growing large economy we are in a golden period and a mm-hmm. lot of things already put in place mm-hmm. and the best time for entrepreneurs the emerging economy large economy is going at a faster pace i think you are in a phenomenal the journey of our country grow up on is the best thing about it everything in place mm-hmm. ecosystem in place funding is great you know all the you know the mobile the internet you know you have billions of users mm-hmm. and many companies already proven it all mm-hmm. is the best thing for all the purpose uh, a moment of yours which you remember probably from a person who was inspired by you or a fan of yours which you would sometimes think about when you feel low or you know sometimes which gives you a happy moment Uh, not not one particular person, and I look at uh, uh, you know all the successful people and learn from those successful people. 
I learned a lot of successful entrepreneurs. I take inspiration out, out of the successful entrepreneurs. But one person uh, I, I always uh, you know cherish is Dr. Uh, A.P. Abdul Kalam. Oh wow! Okay, okay. because what he has achieved, what he has contributed to our country, is a phenomenal person. Mm-hmm. I think. Uh, I think when I look at Abdul Kalam, absolutely, like, he's not about the commercial success. What he focuses on, mm-hmm. he just simply focuses on our country success. Understand? He inspired millions of youth and all. Mm-hmm. He dedicated his life for our nation. I mm-hmm. think uh, Abdul Kalam always. inspires me now that's number 1 so what is that you do when you uh, to motivate yourself when you feel low or something affects you uh i think the uh, my spiritual connectedness okay uh, my life uh, philosophy is very simple just focus on what you can do and take the outcome in your positive positive what are happens in life happens for good but provided you put in the best efforts and take the outcome in your positive, positive. Okay. okay my my guru mahatra said it beautifully okay uh, basically based on the current level of maturity and competence mm-hmm. have faith in god take cho- take decisions mm-hmm. the decision of four outcome mm-hmm. you get opposite or you get uh, less than what you expecting you get more or you could what you expect first accept okay mm-hmm. accept in the first then be the peace if you get more or you could celebrate mm-hmm. rejoice that you know you got more mm-hmm. or you could what you got an order thing you are coming to subconscious i got a what mm-hmm. i want if you get lesser opposite Don't you know? Kind of get into a you know uh, the mode of you know worrying about it and you know get dejected about mm-hmm. it because just learn from it. It teaches you something. Okay, every experience teaches you something. Learn from that experience. Once again, go back with the learning which you make maturity because those failures are giving the required maturity or knowledge that you need to have mm-hmm. so that you can that help you in your future. So understand that God gives those failures so that you can have that understanding, maturity, or get the required knowledge. With the knowledge, once again go back and the it's a good choice. Mm-hmm. Okay, exactly. then once again four outcome. You get less, more, you could have opposite. Accept. Okay, I think that's the way life now. 